And I really don't like it, but at the same time, I really do. Like these... Oh, okay, what is this? Okay, then. How's it going, everybody? Speaker here, and welcome to Trenches, a World War I survival horror game where we're playing as a soldier in, well, the trenches. And the objective is we've got to suss out whatever the hell spooky shit is going on and try not to die to it. Now, I've seen a lot of this game going around, and I said I had to give it a go because I love me some survival horror. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna get right into it. As always with all these videos, if you enjoy it enough that you would like to see a full playthrough on the stream, let me know in the comments below. Either way, let's get right into it. This is Trenches. Trenches, 1917. I used to love hearing these sounds, my wife's beautiful humming, my children calling me daddy, and the sweet music playing on our phonograph. But hearing those sounds now stirs up altogether new feelings while I am only surrounded by tragedy and dead bodies. I already feel that this game is going to be fucking grim, and I'm not going to enjoy it. Somewhere in the trenches, 1917. And this is our boy here. This place looks absolutely grim. Holy shit. And there's a big spooky light there that is really blinding me. And I have absolutely no idea what we're supposed to... Oh, there's a blinking animation. Oh, that is not good. That is giving me some SCP flashbacks. Oh, no. I really hope we don't have to actually deal with something like that with blinking and stuff. What's this? We can hide? Okay, so we're gonna hide from whatever spooky shit is around here. Cool. Right, neat. That's, uh... So we got hiding mechanics. What the fuck was that? We've got hiding mechanics, and we got blinking mechanics. I'm already regretting this decision. Examine? Uh, what's this? How to survive if left alone or injured in battle. PSA to be handed out to all troops in case troop is injured or lost. Crouch and stay low so enemies won't hear you. Common sense. Hide under bunk beds or narrow spaces and stay safe. Don't run or you will make noise. Run only when necessary. Oh no. I can see where this is going. Be careful when walking on wooden surfaces since it makes loud noises. You can cause a distraction by throwing objects, items, and all that such as bottles. Mind your stamina. If you get tired, you cannot outrun the enemies. Pretty much these are just like common sense, more practical ways of saying, yo, there's some spooky boys in the trenches. Uh, follow these tips so you don't die horribly. At least that's what I think it's trying to tell me. So I have a feeling then what this is. Okay, bear with me here. I don't think there's going to be like actual monsters. This might be just a psychological play on the soldier's mind. Because this is a big thing in World War One. is like people went insane. It was a very grim time. And those that survived didn't come back quite the same. So I'm going to go with the leading theory right now that this is less that my character is um, actually fighting monsters or dealing with monsters. And more that... He's just trying to battle with his own sanity. At least that's what I think, anyway. Um, I am a member of the 3rd U Troop Platoon that under the orders of our platoon commander, we were sent out to clear out the trenches. We have been called out on air alarms raids for the last few days and holding up here. We lost four of our men from our squad and many more from our platoon. We dragged the wounded men here, but they did not make it, as, as can be seen. We wrap them up in sheets with what little we got and we'll bury them once we start to dig up. The radio and our limited amount of ammo is the only dope we got. Bastards are what they are with their savage killing, sneaking up at night in such wrong methods of a clean fight. I'm assuming this guy's going crazy trying to write his thoughts down, right? We thought this was bad until I saw a couple of them eating a corpse of what I assume is a woman caught up or taken in the trend. Oh, okay. So we got cannibals. That's not good. I can hear some weird humming. I don't like it. Oh, this is this is not going to be fun, I don't think. See, so yeah, we got a hiding space under the bed. We've got some oil barrels in here. I'm assuming these are the dead boys they were talking about. I see a, uh, a gush of blood there. What do we need? Door is locked. Find the key. Okay, so we have to go back out and find the key. Oh, I'm not looking forward to this. Okay, uh, what's this? This space in the left corner to do this. What does this do? Oh, fuck. Okay, so we don't want to do that. Seems like a terrible fucking idea. 
I think there was actually a piece on the note that said something about using the whistle, but I really didn't pay attention to it. Maybe when we go back. Oh, fucking hell. Holy shit, that scared me. Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, What's over here? Oh, we got multiple paths. This is not good. All right, let's go this way. So, uh, you're right. Okay, that whistle we probably don't want to use a lot of. Um, can we hide in here? I don't think we can, can we? Oh, we can. Okay, so this is a hiding spot too. Cool. Um, right, that actually freaked me the hell out. So it seemed the sound in this game is fucking amplified feeling. Like, it feels way louder than it should be. Holy shit. Oh, what the fuck is that? Okay, yeah. I would go insane too. Oh, wait. Is this supposed to be like... An interpretation of the woman they ate or something? Oh my god, this is fucking great. That's a brain. Okay, right. What do we have here? This is like maybe one of the doctors or the nurses. Oh, we have a key. Shit, okay, so. Uh, sorry, miss, but um, you're just going to be have to just have to leave you there. I really hope that thing doesn't get up and attack me or some shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, okay. I'm not going to fucking like this. Holy shit. That lightning is way too loud. Oh, this game is fucking creepy. Hold. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Can I hide in here? Oh, no. We got something jumping around in this area with me, too. All right. So, uh, we got air raid sirens going off. We got spooky cannibals. We got sounds like a really... What the fuck is that? That's a creep. What the fuck is this? A creepy doll. Yeah, right. It's a creepy fucking doll. What the hell? Okay, so we got some big dude trunching around down here. Probably not a nice fellow either. And we've got some weirdo leaving creepy dolls for us. I assume we just have to, like, kind of try and make it back to that door that was locked. And pray the fuck this dude, uh, or whatever it is, is around. I'm gonna go hide here for a second. Doesn't find me. Well, also, I, I don't know what it is about that light. But that light is, like, very intense and, like, focused on me. So I'm assuming that's, like, uh, something important we gotta, like, pay attention to. You're right. Okay, we're back. Oh, that was me. Oh, wait, what the fuck? Where'd this blood trail come from? Ooh, this wasn't here before. Oh, no, it's another creepy doll. Okay, so whatever it is that's, like, you know, spooking the fuck out of the people and just being a creepy bastard all around is leaving the dolls. Right, we can at least confirm that. Oh, what the fuck, man. Okay, so first we had some fucking, you know, some bloody Blinkins, uh, bloody SCP shite, and now we've got, like, weird evil-looking umbilical cord. And now we're getting some Resident Evil 8 Benevito shite. What the fuck, man? Collect the strange fetus doll clues. Oh, okay, is this gonna be a little, like, SCP? Or not SCP, but, um... Slenderman or something where we've got to collect all the weird clues around the trenches while avoiding the uh, big spooky monster. Oh, so we've got to listen for the sounds. So either A, we are in a nightmare hellscape, aka to uh, or akin to Silent Hill, um, where there are spooky monsters trying to kill me and it's cannibals and shit. Or our dude here has, or B, our dude has just gone batshit insane and lost his fucking mind. I mean, I'm inclined to believe the first, but then who's leaving the creepy dolls around? Oh, I am not liking this. That fog is really thick. You can probably, you probably won't be able to see anything sneak up on you. I am really not okay with this. Oh, fuck. What was that? 
Oh, oh, oh. Them's are footsteps. Okay, right. We definitely don't want to fucking go that way. We definitely do not want to go that way. Uh, so, so far, this game has given me, like, some really unsettling Slenderman, uh, and SCP vibes. Kind of, like, reminds me of that World War Trench kind of thing that the, uh, weird spooky dude... Okay, that thing is getting closer. Teleports you to? I'm assuming we have to look away from it, right? So it doesn't see us. But I kind of want to see what it looks like. So, right. By the looks of it, anyway, uh, we've got to avoid these things. While collecting the weird feet baby things. And also, uh, well, I guess unraveling the mystery as to what the hell happened in these trenches. Spoiler alert, it's probably a bunch of crazy cannibal people who, uh, are very hungry. Ooh, that's loud. Well, we got a bottle here, so we can grab this bottle, right? And we can, like, throw it over there. Oh, shit, it is coming running. Oh, fuck! Jesus Christ! Okay, right, that was not cool. Oh, it's getting really fucking close. Okay. It just suddenly stopped moving. Please help me, Daddy. What the fuck? Okay then. Um Right. Love you, XXX. Oh fucking K then. That is something I really didn't want to fucking hear. So it is doing some SCP bullshit where it mimics voices and stuff. Oh fuck, it's coming back. Oh shit. Okay, I put myself in the bind doing this. I'm kind of afraid to see what it looks like, but I kind of like morbidly curious. See if we can get a look. Okay, right. Fuck me, man. I don't like they keep saying it like that. It's uh it's fucking creepy. It's also camping the way place. I'm assuming I need to go. Also, if my audio is correct, it crossed straight there and I couldn't see anything. So I'm assuming it's like not real. It must not be real. Hold up, I'm gonna do this. And pray it doesn't come down here. Oh no, oh no, oh no, it's see me. What the fuck? Oh shit, what the fuck is that? Well, um... Shit! James R. Dennis was found deceased in the battle since 1917 after being found with severed wounds. Several wounds. It said that he kept on fighting till his last breath, thinking about his family until he gave up. He will be deeply missed by his wife, six-year-old daughter, Five-year-old son that will grow with, uh, without their father. Jesus Christ. Okay. So that's what it is. It's one of those weird... It's one of those things that looks like the weird doll we saw that had the fucking key. Oh, okay, right. So our monsters in this game. We've confirmed that he's not just insane. So, right. We use the whistle to make the weird little baby doll cry louder. And we have to avoid whatever the fuck that thing is. 
This is kind of giving me some serious Slenderman and monster vibes. Um, and I really don't like it, but at the same time, I really do. Like these... Oh, okay, what is this? Okay, then. Alrighty, that is... Uh, shit, that fucking scared the hell out of me. Okay, right. Not cool, game. Not cool. Okay, right. We're gonna try and maybe see. There is nothing here. This is a dead end. Okay. Um, let's see if we can, like, you know, get as many of these damn weird uh, baby statue things as we can. And then, oh, okay. And then we're gonna maybe, I don't know, see what the hell happens. I have a feeling it is gonna be one of those games where it's a case of after you collect all nine, the game ends. Uh, I'm not sure. So we got a hiding spot here we can use. Just gonna like, chill in here for a second. Catch my uh, sanity. Actually, I wonder if we use this. Will it hide? Will it come near me? I like do this. Like, will it catch me while I'm hidden inside the thing? I wonder. I guess it's too far away to hear it. Okay, then. So we want to try and avoid dying to the weird armless monster while collecting the weird trench babies. This is like, this is like Hideo Kojima levels of confusing. And we gotta, you know, just, just see where this... Maddening tale takes us, I guess. We got another dead end here. I feel this is going to be one of those games that requires you to kind of, like, have a good uh, visual memory. So you can, like, remember where shit is and where dead ends are. So you don't accidentally run yourself into a corner with this monster. Because if you do that, it's probably going to be your downfall. Fucking hell, that lightning. Okay, I'm never getting... I'm never getting used to that sound. Holy shit, that is loud. It feels like the game is just, like, amplified in the sound department, like, tenfold. Also, this thing hasn't shown up yet. I think it's a case that it doesn't show up until we collect the second one. And then, oh, okay, right. I have a feeling how this goes then. It doesn't show up until we collect the second one. And then it kind of starts, oh, okay, we got some glitches here. Um, and it kind of starts ramping up and getting more aggressive the more you collect. At least that's what I think it, it's going to be like anyway. It also looks like this thing is kind of like invisible, I guess, until like it uh, it's aggroed onto you. Because I couldn't see it at all. And I'm wondering if it's a case of like it just doesn't reveal itself as being there until it knows you're there. So it's going to be continuously walking around this way, I think, is it? Until like uh, we either collect all the babies or until like it... Uh, thing it's a shame there's like no lean oh god damn lightning man holy hell it's a shame there's no lean function um at least not oh okay r is lean r and t is lean okay that's a weird give me one second here then so r and t is actually the lean right okay i was wondering why there wasn't one because it felt like this game would benefit from a lean function i guess now we know uh, there actually is. It's just that it's a weird button combination. Okay, right. So, not only is there a monster working against us, but the game also wants to get me too. This is just a great game. Holy hell. I wonder if it actually is invisible. We'll know in a second, I guess. Oh, it's getting closer. Holy shit. Oh, it's not invisible. Oh, it is not invisible. Oh, and it's humming too. So it's a noise-based monster. What the fuck was that? I 
I can't be the only one that saw that thing in the shadows, right? Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay, and we're getting, like, visual, like, kind of flares, I guess? Of imagery? Oh, I don't like this. Okay, so if there's a weird baby thing I'm supposed to collect, it's not nearby because I have not heard it at all with this damn whistle. This thing is actually keeping pace with me. It's actually like probably around the corner somewhere. So I kind of think that like the game's doing well in a lot of regards. It's incentivizing me to use the um, whistle by like making it hard for me to find the damn things. But at the same time, it does have its fair share of uh, visual hiccups. So far, though, it's overall very enjoyable. Uh, the only question I've got is what happens when you collect all nine. I guess, though, I will have to actually somehow survive that shit and figure it out. So we're going to see if we can find another one of these things. Pull some Hunt Showdown tricks out of the bag and just keep crowd spamming so it doesn't hear me. Oh, fucking hell! Jesus Christ! Right. Okay, then. Right. That's the video. That's it. I'm done. I can't do any more. Holy shit. <laughs> Fuck that. Like, this is trenches. It's good. It's it's, it's pretty damn good. It, it does horror well. Holy shit. Uh, the audio design is fantastic. Visually, it's fantastic. Um, the monster design is fucking terrifying. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's all around spooky as fuck. Uh, if you enjoy it, or you enjoyed the video, drop a like on the video and uh, subscribe and all that for more videos like this. Not specifically this game. I just I just can't take it anymore. We're just finishing the video here. Holy shit! That that was the last fucking straw. Um, I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching. Later.